To get the latest date from a list of dates, you can use lookup and max function. To get the details of the youngest student, you need to match the latest date. Use this formula. The lookup value is the latest date. Get the latest date using the max function. Max function returns the latest date from the list of dates. Pass the dates E2 to E22 as lookup array. We want multiple values to be returned, so pass A2 to E22 as return array. XLOOKUP looks for the maximum date value 65-2006 in the lookup array, finds it in position 2 and returns the corresponding row from the results array. To get the details of the eldest student, you need to match the earliest date. Use this formula. The lookup value is the earliest date. Get the earliest date using the min function. Min function returns the earliest date from the list of dates. XLOOKUP looks through the lookup array for the earliest date 6-17-1974, finds it in 13th position and returns the corresponding row from the results array. To get the latest date based on multiple criteria, you can use XLOOKUP in approximate match mode by setting match mode to minus 1. For example, to get the youngest student in Washington, use this formula. Here, the lookup array is derived with a Boolean logic expression. This expression compares each item in the range D2 to D22 to Washington. It returns an array of true-false where true represents state is WA when it is multiplied by the dates in the range E2 to E22, the true-false values are converted to ones and zeros. The result is an array that contains only zeros and dates where state is Washington. Because Excel dates are serial numbers, you will sometimes see the raw numbers on a worksheet when you expect a date. To display date values in a human-readable date format, you must apply a date format. This array is passed as the lookup array. We want to return multiple values. So the return array is A2 to E22, including all the columns. The optional argument is not found, is not provided. Match mode is set to minus one. XLOOKUP looks for an exact match, and if not found, it matches the next smaller value. XLOOKUP looks through the lookup array for the maximum date value. The array contains only dates associated with WA. XLOOKUP looks for the max date 65-2006 and does not find it. So it matches the next smaller value 12-21-2005 and returns the corresponding row. To get the eldest student, we need the earliest date. Use this formula. Get the earliest date using the min function. Match mode is set to 1 to get exact match or next larger date. XLOOKUP looks for the min date 6-17-1974 and does not find it. So it matches the next larger value 3-16-1985 and returns the corresponding row. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.